Hey beautiful people, my name's Kristen. Thank you for tuning in for my May book reviews. I read a couple classics, a nonfiction and a couple fiction books and I will share those. As always, I will hold them up. You can scroll along to the ones that you would like to hear about. So for the classics of the month, I read Little Women, um, Alcott, right? Yeah, Louis May Alcott. It is listed as almost by some as kind of an autobiography, taking a lot from her own life with her own sisters. There are four daughters of Mrs. March who is raising them in a time of war where the father is away serving his country. And then the second kind of part is their true coming of age as far as romance and finding their place in society and they go on several adventures and what I really uh, love and appreciate I had read this before many years ago but it was a great to reread it now and just look at the sweet morals of the story and how the mother in particular raises the daughters to think critically for themselves about what is morally right and to take the responsibility for developing your character and I don't know that that is as predominant in our time as it, as it was in this book. I just feel like that was beautiful and I can understand why it remains a classic. Next, I read Jules Verne, Journey to the Center of the Earth. This was another great Jules Verne, sci-fi type base early book about a exploration to Iceland into an inert volcano to try to find the middle of the earth, which of course in that time they knew way less than we know. And so just their creativity, what they thought was part of the adventure and lied underneath the surface is just really a fun little romp and um, it's enjoyable, easy read. If you're gonna start with a classic, those are good. I'd probably still prefer 20,000 Leagues and 80 Days Around the World more than that one, but it was good. I also read a Science Fiction Literary History. This is by um, Roger Luckhurst. He is a professor and it reads a lot like that. <laughs> so it's, it was interesting, it was good. It's kind of one of those kind of three stars out of five where I'm not sorry I read it, I learned some. Um, my struggle I guess with it was often he used books as examples to make his case but I didn't know enough about that book I would have liked more information and descriptions about the books he mentioned and referenced to really know more like book reviews if you will do I want to read this we're in the genre development of this you know, were they, and maybe there's a particular whole segment of books that would be interested. I did write down a couple that I thought sounded like they would be worthy of reading in the history of science fiction. And of course it mentions all the Jules Verne and all that kind of good stuff. So it's very interesting. If you are interested in that topic, you would probably find this book good. Although um, I felt often like I was sitting in a classroom having a lecture, which I enjoy that, but Take it as you will. That's my that's my review of it. Then I read um, Leanne Morty's Nine Perfect Strangers, which this was on the bestseller list a couple years ago. What's the, I should have looked up the copyright day, but she's the one who wrote Big Little Lies, which was one of my very favorite books um, last year. So this is 2018, so yeah, two years. And it, I think it pretty much got good reviews. I really enjoyed it and I thought it was a page turner, but I personally found the end unsatisfying. So it is basically a health resort that is run by some very eclectic, eccentric people. And these nine go and turn themselves over to have this 10 day health detox purge and you learn a lot of backstories of each one. You hear from first person of most of the characters and what their issues are and what they're really trying to detox or heal from. And so it was really interesting. I just, um, I have to think about it. I, I just finished this last week and I'm still kind of processing it, but three and a half probably stars. It was enjoyable, not mad that I read it, but the ending felt kind of weak to me unresolved. Um, 
the last book I read was The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek and this is Kim Michelle Richardson and this I actually picked up at Costco based on a recommendation of another shopper when we were browsing books and sounded interesting and I love things that center around books and literature and this is based on a actual happening of some settlers from France who moved to Kentucky and when they started marrying and and having children they turned blue like literally their skin was blue it was a rare blood didn't oxygenate correctly and their skin was literally blue and this was back in the time of segregation and racial issues which is a really interesting read right now so dealing with them being treated as colors but in this story they merged about 20 years of actual history to create this fictitious story where they found a cure for this ailment and it was not permanent but it would basically oxygenate the blood for them and they would turn totally Caucasian white and so there was this struggle and and wrestling and you didn't really fit into society and you were still rejected and it just had some very interesting takes on racism and um, the back of the book if I can find it there's actual historical pictures about the also story of the book usually women although there were some men that would go through the hills and take literature and educational materials for the people so that they could have some education and information because there's no cell phones or internet and so this is how they would get a lot of their information and so one of the blue women was also on the book crowd and she was smart and educated and so it's kind of her viewpoint of looking through all this so this was fascinating this is this is close to five stars i really enjoyed it and thought that it was thought provoking and really felt heartfelt for many of the characters and um it, it, it was a, it was definitely definitely a worthy read and probably my favorite book that I read in May so thank you for taking some time listening to those as always drop me a comment what you're reading what you're liking if you want to read any of these after hearing me talk about them and if you have a favorite classic of all time I'm working through all the classics so leave me that in the comments I appreciate it and y'all have a blessed day